Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 12:25 in Honolulu, 5:25 in New York on Wednesday, ninth day of March, 2022, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. It was a single statement that had a profound and deep impact on financial markets globally. President Zelensky, in an interview of a German newspaper today, said that he is willing to consider a compromise and sit down to have an end game to negotiate an end to the war between Russia and Ukraine, so that Russian troops are withdrawn. From his country, crude oil closed dramatically lower, down about 11 percent, and gold also had a strong decline after trading to a high this morning of $2,068.50, closed at $1,995.70. The low today was $1,981. It did, of course, affect our trade. We had moved our stop up to 1995. We'll talk about it in a second, but we were stopped out with a significant profit. Traders, today our video report will be extremely short. We'll pick it up tomorrow with the subject that I present after this chart. After viewing this, I invite you to watch an interview with Kitco News's David Lin that was recorded about an hour and a half ago from the time of this recording. We entered our last trade at 1893. We had been raising our stops. Our current stop was at 1995, right where the market closed out at today. The profit on the trade was $103 per ounce, or $10,300 per COMEX contract. The question we need to ask ourselves is if this is the beginning of a correction, if it is, where will it find support and what will it take to end the correction? And if it does end, where could we see prices go? We will open that discussion today, but we will focus upon it during the remainder of the week. The last chart we are going to look at on today's show is a chart I simply have labeled the big picture. It contains one of multiple models that we could see unfold. Unquestionably, today was a game changer. If Russia and Ukraine are able to resolve their differences and end the war, we will see this correction not only continue, but could substantially go below $1,900 per ounce. What I am looking at is a model that is created by the use of Elliott Wave, Fibonacci retracement, and Fibonacci extension. I'm assuming that the move back in April, when gold was trading at around 1,450, up to the record high in August at 2,088, completed the longest of the impulse waves, wave three, and it was also the beginning of a correction. The correction took pricing from 2,088 down to these lows that come in at around $1,640, and it is approximately a 61.8% retracement of the rally that occurred in wave three, which means that we have now begun a fifth wave, which we will use to build various models of how wave three, four, and five could unfold, completing this intermediate fifth wave count. I'm going to leave it for there now because I want you to watch the interview with David Lynn, but there are multiple models that we can create. But what I want you to take away from this is short term, I believe we could absolutely see a deeper decline. Long term, I think that we will take out the record high and trade as high as 2200. More to follow during the rest of the week. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.